Hey everyone, let's talk about Air Svidada by Timo Vermesh. And I listened to the abridged audiobook, which was read by Christoph Maria Herbst. I, of course, listened to it in German in the original, so I cannot say anything about the translation. Nevertheless, I'm doing the video in English because a lot of my English viewers asked me to do a review. So what is this book about? This is basically a satire about Adolf Hitler waking up in Berlin in 2011 and having no clue what's going on. And it's all about him trying to figure out where he is and then people looking at him, of course, recognizing him and thinking he's a comedian. So no one takes him seriously. And all of a sudden he finds himself doing a comedy show and then things happen. And all of this, never really interested me. I was reluctant to read this book for a very long time. For one part, because I don't do well with reading German bestsellers. Usually I don't like them. And another part was the content. I didn't really feel comfortable reading something about Hitler in a, yeah, this way, in a personal way. This whole book is first person narration. So as the audiobook, you're basically in his brain, you listen to his voice and Christoph Maria Herbst is amazing in catching his voice. It just sounds too real sometimes. And that makes you feel uncomfortable already. Then what I didn't anticipate was that you find yourself agreeing with him. There are things when you talked about like people in the morning should not be happy and you shouldn't really start your day before 11 a.m. And I'm like, yes. And immediately afterwards, I was like, oh, I just agreed with Hitler. And you have this more and more about the ideas he has and the foundations, what made up his politics. There are other times when you're constantly reminded like, no, no, this is a bad idea because his main ideas are maybe not so bad, but his way of getting there is kind of Hitler. I mean, he is the person who did all the things and the book doesn't try to hide that, which I like. What the book other than that does is it shows you how people came to like him and to agree with him and to think he's a good person or a nice person or a person to follow because he had leader qualities, he had convincing arguments and he had some ideas which people agreed with. It's constantly weird when he talks about women should get more children and then adds up how many divisions we lost. Everything when it comes to life and people not existing is counted and calculated in divisions, which reminds you that he's basically a warmonger. But all of these things combined help you understand how things could happen back then. Another thing I liked about the book was how the author used Hitler's voice to criticize a lot of the things that are going on. He's not only looking at how we live today or how our society is dealing with things, but also at politics. And that is where the satire really shows. This book is a satire. So the awkward truth for me is at the end of this book, I don't know what the abridged version cut out. So I don't know if the written book contains more description or more personal binding with the character. But for me, this was surprisingly good. I hadn't expected to like it that much. I had expected to feel awkward at times, but not to the extent that it happened. And I really don't know if I like the ending, which is a very good ending, but it's kind of scary. So if you have read the book, tell me in comments what you thought about it. If you have seen the movie only, you can also talk to me. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I think it's somewhere for free on Netflix or Amazon. So I'll have a look for it. Thank you all for watching and tell me if you want to read the book or what you think about the idea in general.